introduced to the idea of deep mulch gardening pretty early on in my journey of growing food and had to have been probably the second year of really getting serious about the garden. I was introduced to a woman named Ruth Stout. Now by introduced, I mean I was introduced to her work because she passed away like 30 or 40 years ago. But she is basically known as the pioneer for any type of mulch gardening. She wrote a book, I think in like the 50s, called The No Work Garden Method. And basically, she used hay in her garden to suppress wheat. So for the first five or six years, I did a lot of what she talks about in her method. Sometimes with hay, sometimes with straw. I really, really love grass clippings. But if you followed me for the past few years, you notice that I've also started to use landscape fabric in certain portions of my garden as well. So today I want to talk about that. Which is better for chemical free weed management in the garden? Is it deep mulch or is it landscape fabric? To start, let's kind of define what these two different options are. So if you're not aware, Deep mulch is basically utilizing thick layers of any type of organic matter around your crops with the belief of always keeping the soil completely covered. Like I mentioned, common choices to use are old hay, straw, grass clippings. People also use pine shaving, pine needles, wood chips, leaves, compost. There's a lot of different options that you can use for your deep mulch method. When talking about landscape fabric, I am talking about the breathable woven material that you put down as a total ground cover. Typically, you'll attach it with like the little six inch landscape fabric staples. And then you will plant either in between each sheet or by burning holes in certain spots. This is not just plastic tarp or you know, something that is going to allow water to pool on the top. This is an actual woven polypropylene material that still allows water through. So I have used both of these in my garden for the last five or so years now, and there are some pros and cons to each of them. Some of the pros are it's very low cost or even free if you're willing to be creative with your sourcing. For example, we get wood chips delivered here for free. We often have grass clippings from mowing our lawn. Lots of people have leaves that they just rake up to get out of their yard. If you're willing to be resourceful and put in a little bit of work, then you can accumulate a bunch of different materials without any cost. Another pro to using the deep mulch method is that it retains moisture in the soil really, really well. I have gone air season without watering beds that have a deep mulch system set in place. And in relation to that, as the material does break down because it's such a nice, moist environment, you are actually creating more organic matter and more soil health and biology because the broken down material from the moisture is feeding all of the microbes that are in the soil. Another pro to a deep mulch method is that it looks really nice. I think aesthetically, it gives the garden a very natural but still maintained look. And depending on what material you use, it's really comfortable to walk on when you're working in the garden. There are, of course, some cons to the deep mulch method. One of them being that you do have to be able to source a significant amount of material because if you're not laying your mulch thick enough, it's not going to be effective. Another negative that I found from the deep mulch method is that it can make it challenging to detect or to deal with certain pests. So for example, potato beetles are very common here and often they will hide in the mulch or fall into the mulch as you're trying to pick them off. And it can be frustrating to try to 
get them thoroughly. Another negative to deep mulching is that it can be hard to get it thick enough between crops that are planted very closely together. So things like lettuces, corn, carrots, those types of things that don't have a very big spacing, it's hard to mulch sufficiently around them. The last calm to a deep mulch method is that you have to be continuously applying it. As that lower layer is breaking down, you need to apply more on top. So it's going to be kind of a constant chore, either a couple times a season, or at the very least, one really good layer each season needs to be applied to maintain it. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons to landscape fabric. The biggest pro for me to landscape fabric is that you will have nearly 100% weed suppression. Whereas the deep mulch, you might have a handful of weeds that pop up here and there. They are easy to pull out if they come up, but with the weed fabric, there's basically none ever. They don't grow through. Now I should say this depends on what company's fabric you are buying. You definitely get what you pay for with landscape fabric. Do not go to the dollar store and buy something cheap. Personally, I really, really love Sunbelt or DeWitt brands you can find on Amazon or at a lot of big box stores. If I had to choose one or recommend one, I would definitely choose Growers Solution. They produce for commercial gardeners. They're super high quality, and I've always been happy with the fabric that I get from them. The next pro to using landscape fabric is that it is reusable. You can use it for five, six. Some people have even said it lasts up to 10 years. You don't have to reapply it every season. You might rotate it to different layouts depending on your crop rotation, but otherwise, once you buy it and invest in it up front, you can reuse it over and over. Another pro that I have found to working with landscape fabric is that sometimes it actually makes it easier to detect certain pests. So for example, I will often know that the tomato hornworms are coming for the season because I will see the little black flecks of hornworm poop on the landscape fabric right below the tomato plants that have it. Whereas if it was mulched, it would all just kind of fall into the mulch and I wouldn't notice it. The landscape fabric actually, I will see the poop before I will actually see the worms in the plant. Another pro to landscape fabric is that because they have the lines on them, so you can burn your holes very nice and straight, it makes your garden look just really neat and organized which you know if a garden is more enjoyable to look at you're going to go and spend more time in it and you're going to take care of it better and the last pro that i have for landscape fabric is that it's just pretty easy to plant in you don't have to pull the mulch to the side and make sure that you are leaving a big enough opening for seeds to germinate you just burn or cut your hole plop it right in and you're done some of the cons or the negatives to landscape fabric are that first of all it's a significant upfront cost initially to invest in a quality fabric that's gonna actually work. It also, in my opinion, it's a little bit more labor intensive to set up initially compared to mulch, which you basically just pile down. In order to have fabric work well and look nice, you wanna make sure that you have a smooth ground to start with. You have to put in all of your staples very thoroughly and face evenly. So the setup, in preparation for planting is a little bit more extensive. Another negative to landscape fabric is that it can kind of limit your spacing flexibility. So for example, if you burn your holes every 18 inches, then you either have to always plant things 18 inches apart or later on add more holes and then you are stuck with having more holes, so there's just not as much flexibility. To combat that though, I basically just will keep fabric that is specifically for things like corn or lettuce, things like my peppers, things like my tomatoes, and I'll rotate the fabric around instead of rotating my crops around. Another negative to landscape fabric is that it makes it more challenging to build soil. So if you have really rough soil that you need to put a lot of health and organic matter into, you can't really do that with landscape fabric without taking it all up and then amending and laying it back down each season or between each crop rotation. 
And then the last kind of negative to landscape fabric to me is that it does make the garden just look a little bit more commercial, not as natural and inviting. Though I do appreciate the kind of neat organization that the rows give. It's not just that like authentic home garden look that I really love. So which one is better for managing weeds based on those factors that I just went over? For me, I have found that I have a space in my garden for both. And it kind of depends based on which crop I'm planting. So for anything that is really vining and takes up a lot of space, like pumpkins or melons or squashes. I love having landscape fabric because I don't need that whole entire area to be really heavily nutrient dense soil wise. I can just amend right at the planting site and then I never have weeds that are coming up through all of the vines as they are going out. However, for plants that really like to have a lot of moisture and don't like to have competition with weeds, like onions or garlic, those are always going to be mulched for me. Grass clipping mulch is going to retain the moisture that they need. These are just some of the observations that I have made. I hope it was helpful in helping you decide what might be best for your garden. If you want a summary of kind of all of the points that I've made, I made a little chart that you can download for free. I'll put a link in the description to this video for you to snag it as well as a link to the grower solution fabric that I love and recommend. You can get a 10% off discount by using my code, which is Homestead. Let me know if I forgot anything or if you have any other questions, and I'll talk to you guys later.